Hello everyone, today's episode will be all about Duna. We'll start by uh, returning two of our uh, Kerbals uh, back to Kerbin uh, because they have served their time here in, uh, in the Duna station and they will be looking for more challenges in the solar system. I have started by raising orbit of interplanetary transport system and uh, now we will be plotting the maneuver back home. We are just few days from transfer window, so our transfer should be quite uh, efficient and fast. Thanks to the nuclear engines, uh, we are having a lot of Delta V and uh, we will be able to easily leave uh, Duna system and make orbit around Kerbin. Maneuver has been performed nominally, so we are having quite good encounter with Kerbin and we are aiming to rendezvous with uh, our um, re-entry vessel that we have left in Kerbin's orbit before departing. Last checkups and thanks to magic of editing, we are already back to Kerbin. Finally, we are plotting a rendezvous with our re-entry ship and soon both our Kerbals will be back home. One last burn and we are uh, having a rendezvous. And you can also see that the plume looks a bit different and that's uh, because I have uh, uninstalled the real plume mod and uh, because it was messing uh, with waterfall a bit and the sounds of some of the, some of the engines uh, were missing. Nevertheless, we have met with the uh, other ship in orbit, just some final course corrections and we are starting our docking procedure, which ended up just perfectly. Finally, the crew have transferred to re-entry model and, and they will be soon back on surface. And of course, our transfer vehicle uh, is staying in orbit and uh, soon it will be um, refueled uh, and it will be used uh, for another uh, interplanetary mission, uh, maybe to Duna, maybe to Dress, maybe to Eve, uh, we'll see. Finally, let's move to new launches. We'll have a couple of them, uh, four to be exact. The first one, uh, which you just see, is the um, lab uh, that will uh, be docked to the Duna station uh, to process the samples and to um, send new uh, science uh, to Kerbin. So we won't have to uh, transfer all the samples uh, back to Kerbin for processing. The launch was quite uneventful, uh, everything went smoothly, we got a nice uh, encounter with Duna, uh, so now we can move to uh, next launch, which is a sample container, because maybe you have noticed that uh, my interplanetary transport system didn't have any place to store uh, scientific samples, so I had to leave all of them uh, in Duna Station, but some of my contracts require me to um, bring them back, so that's why I need this uh, container to uh, get to Duna and back. Now this launch is uh, quite uh, more interesting, it's uh, the launch of the Duna Outpost, and this outpost uh, will be uh, my first habitat on Duna and it would, will uh, hopefully be a start of the future colony. The last launch uh, of this window is Duna's rover and uh, it will help uh, to move crew uh, from the um, landing zones uh, to uh, the outpost and also uh, to move it around the whole planet uh, to make uh, science. And now let's move uh, straight to arrivals. Uh, first one to arrive is the lab. Uh, it will use its inflatable heat shield to aerobrake into a low orbit 
and then it will uh, rendezvous with uh, the station and talk with it. The lab is not very heavy, uh, so its huge heat shield uh, didn't have any problems uh, with um, breaking uh, into the orbit. And as it uh, has done its job, it can be jettisoned now and the lab is uh, slowly uh, joining uh, with the station. Lab successfully docks uh, with the station, but there's no uh, time to break, uh, as another craft uh, has uh, approached uh, Duna, it's the sample container. It uh, uses its own engine to um, circularize orbit and to uh, join with uh, the station. As you might have noticed, uh, this craft doesn't have any docking port, uh, so um, the scientists uh, from the station will have to go out, uh, take the samples and move them all uh, by hand uh, to the container. Luckily, our scientist Rodgun Kerman is uh, just up to the task. Uh, he uh, takes all the samples and moves them uh, to our uh, small vessel. And right after uh, that, he comes back uh, to the station safely. Vessel now fires its engine to uh, move to higher orbit of 300 by 300 kilometers. Uh, then it will uh, wait in this orbit uh, for the transfer window uh, back to Kerbin to bring all this uh, science. So for now, it just waits. The outpost also uh, approaches Duna now, uh, so uh, let's uh, check it out. Uh, it doesn't have uh, the heat shield, so oh, for its size uh, it's uh, quite heavy. That's why the hour braking uh, will be uh, assisted uh, by the engines. Uh, the engines will fire to slow it down so the main parachute uh, will be opened, as you just can see. And of course, uh, engines will also uh, fire to lower the final uh, touchdown velocity. And we have perfect touchdown. The base is being leveled and it also deploys its uh, solar panels and uh, the antenna. The orientation of the base is not uh, optimal for energy uh, generation, that's why it uses its uh, powerful RCS thrusters to uh, just turn around uh, to have the best uh, operation angle of the solar panels. The rover has also arrived to Duna, it inflates its heat shield and enters the atmosphere of uh, our red planet. The rover is not very heavy, uh, that's why the heat shield allows uh, it to uh, cancel uh, almost all the velocity, uh, so it can uh, just straightforward uh, open its uh, parachutes. But the parachutes will be uh, not enough uh, for safe landing, that's why a rover just before the touchdown uh, will fire its uh, four solid rockets to break for acceptable speed. The rover has landed quite far away from the outpost, but it will use its uh, Bon Voyage controller uh, to uh, meet up uh, with the base. That's all I have prepared for this video, but soon uh, I will be using all those facilities I have uh, prepared. So if you like this video, please uh, like and subscribe and uh, see you again.